Welcome to the Know Yourself channel, where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer, and in this video, I explain how you can find out what is your Almuntin Figaris, which means the ruler of your natal chart. Okay, the ruler of the natal chart is the strongest place planet on the birth chart, shall we say. And you calculate the ruler firstly by writing down the following planets on a piece of paper Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Moon, Venus, Mercury, and the Sun, one on top of the other, like a list, with a hyphen next to each planet. Then, referring to the points table for the fortitudes and abilities of the planets, go through each section of that chart for each planet and score them accordingly. Now, whatever planet scores the highest points is Almutin Figaris, or the ruler of the natal chart, as it's more commonly known by. And the native, which means a person, will be most dominated by the influence of this planet, by the planet's nature, energies, etc. And this particular planet will be the one that particular attention should be made to regarding its transits, etc. As the transits, returns, etc. of this particular planet will have chief influence throughout your life. Now let's take a look at the table showing the fortitudes and abilities of the planets and I will explain to you what everything means that is said on that table. But before I do, you must know that in order to identify the essential dignities and abilities of the planets, you must also use Ptolemy's table of essential dignities of the planets, which should be on screen now. And as you can see, this chart clearly shows you if a planet is in rulership, exaltation, detriment, fall, triplicity, etc. It's a pretty straightforward chart, but if anybody is confused with it or has any questions regarding this chart, please get in touch and I will be happy to answer it for you. So again, this table shows you all this information and the fortitudes and abilities of the planets table shows you how many points the planet will either gain or lose depending on its positioning. Again, the planet with the most points at the end of this process <clears throat> is the Almutin Figuris, ruler of the natal chart. And this is an important part of astrology and everyone should know which planet is the ruler of their chart. Okay, let's get started on the table showing the fortitudes and abilities of the planets. Now, as you can see, if a planet is in rulership, it will gain 5 points. If a planet is in exaltation, it will gain 4 points. If a planet is in triplicity, it will gain 3 points. If it's in terum, it will gain 2 points. If it's in deacon or face, which is the same thing really, it will gain 1 point. Now for debilities, if the planet is in detriment, it will lose 5 points. If it's in fall, it will lose 4 points. And if it's peregrine, it will lose 5 points. Now peregrine means when a planet has no control of, over its environment. For example, when a planet is in a sign that doesn't rule, have triplicity, terum, exaltation, etc. So no dignities whatsoever. The planet is classed as peregrine. Now, again, referring to Ptolemy's table of essential dignities of the planets, this will explain all this to you, okay? Now, accidental fortitudes. If the planet's in, a, in the ascendant, or the midheaven, it will gain 5 points. The planet is in the 4th, 7th, or 11th house, it will gain 4 points. If it's in the 2nd or 5th house, it will gain 3 points. If it's in the 9th house, it will gain 2 points. If it's in the 3rd house, it will gain 1 point. If the planet is direct, it will gain 4 points. Direct just means that it's moving at its regular pace and it's not retrograde or anything like that. Now if Saturn, Jupiter or Mars are oriental, you would gain two points. Oriental just basically means located in the eastern part of the natal chart. Now if you find Venus, Mercury or the moon occidental, 
you would gain two points. And that just means opposite. If you find any of these planets in the western portion of the natal chart, it's occidental. If a planet's in Kazime, you'd gain five points. Now, Kazime just means in the heart of the sun, okay? So if the planet's exactly located where the sun is located, it's classed as in Kazime. Now, if you find a planet in between Jupiter and Venus, you would gain five points. If you find a planet being conjunct in North Node, you will gain four points. If a planet is conjunct Jupiter or Venus, you will gain five points. If it's trine Jupiter or Venus, it will gain four points. If it's sextile Jupiter or Venus, you would gain, it would gain three points. If it's conjunct the fixed star Regulus, you would gain five points. If it's conjunct the fixed star Spicker, you would also gain five points. And if the planet is found to be in the terms of Jupiter or Venus, it will gain one point. Again, referring to Ptolemy's table for the essential dignities of the planets, this will make all this clear for you. The terms, exaltation, rulership, triplicity, term, face, detriment, fall, it's all in there and it will explain it to you. And like I said, it's to figure out your Almutin Figaris, you have to refer to both of these charts, okay, the whole time. And it will take roughly maybe an hour for you to actually identify your Almutin Figaris through this process. Okay, moving on, accidental debilities. If you find a planet located in the 12th house on a chart, it would lose five points. If you find it in the eighth or the sixth house, it will lose four points. If you find a planet to be retrograde, it will lose five points. If Saturn, Jupiter or Mars is occidental, you lose two points. If you find Venus or Mercury being oriental, you will lose two points. If you find the moon is waning, which means decreasing in light, going from a full moon to a new moon in any of its stages, decreasing in light, the moon is waning, it will lose two points, okay? If a planet is under the sun's rays, it will lose four points. If you find a planet located in between Saturn and Mars, which means the planet is being besieged, it would lose five points. If you find a planet is conjunct the south node, it will lose four points. If a planet is conjunct Saturn or Mars, it will lose five points. If a planet is opposite Saturn or Mars, it will lose being opposed by, okay, opposite Saturn or Mars, it will lose four points. If you find a planet conjunct Caput Algo within five degrees of it, it will lose five points. And if you find a planet to be in the terms of Saturn or Mars, it will lose one point. Okay, folks, I hope I made everything clear enough. Any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. I will be happy to answer them for you. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button and please tell a friend about this channel. Until next time, take care.